Aloha, and how you doing? Welcome to Hawaii Talk. Gordo the Tech Star here. Nice to see you all. And I've got my good old buddy, Andrew the Security hey Guy. Aloha. Who's never here anymore. He's always traveling. Come on, man. You're everywhere. I'm here. I'm everywhere. here. I'm here in spirit when I'm not here in, in the flesh. Yeah, you're spirited all right. And we have a great <laughs> guest today. We have a great guest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's JJ. Niebauer. Niebuhr. 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 Okay, yeah. I'm going to get it right yet. Gonna, gonna, I'm going to call you J.J. Dolan all the time. <laughs> He's Scottish. Time. He can't help you can to say it wrong. J.J. Niebuhr. <laughs> and uh, do you might know some of these names? Um, uh, J.J. Dolan. J.J. Dolan, correct. Bethel, Bethel Union. Bethel Union, yes. Ferguson? Ferguson's Irish pub, yeah, yes. Yeah, what do they all have in common? Uh, me, right now. That's it. And I'm, I'm very I happy. I think you can get Guinness every, at yeah, each yeah. of them. Pre pretty much. Pretty much you can get Guinness. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and everyone. <laughs> anyway, so JJ um, is an entrepreneur, restaurateur entrepreneur. Uh, yeah. And, okay. and you've been in this business uh, quite some time. Yes. And um, for love nor money, I have no idea why. And we're we're going to find out. We're going to find out today. So, you know, we're, we're, we're spinning the show in a little, little different way as we're starting to evolve. We're going to get more entrepreneurs on and more people to do startups and things like that. So you can kind of give out your words of wisdom to those that want to. <laughs> Very few words, but you know, <laughs> I'll give you what I got. <laughs> so but tell me, this accent is obviously from Kentucky. I can tell. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no that's I'm from Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. So he's, I think he's a little further north. I'm just going to take a guess. <laughs> that's the bourbon. So zone. where are you, where are you I, from? Actually, uh, out of the great state of New Jersey. Okay. Nice. By, by way of Kailua for 26 plus years. Years, 26 so, plus yeah. years. And yeah, so uh, from so, New Jersey. New Jersey. Are you a Yankee fan? I'm a Yankee fan. Oh, yes. I'm a Blue Jay fan. Oh, you're a Toronto. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little, so, a little further up. Yeah. What bride of the islands? United States Marine Corps in 1990. Oh, thank you for your yes, service. Thank right you. on. Thank, thank you, you, bud. You're welcome. Appreciate we love it. having um, servicemen on here. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a wild ride to get here, and uh, as soon as I got here, I said, why in the world would I ever go back? Uh, yeah. Why would you ever leave, right? <laughs> no. so, yeah, I had that I had that Kentucky boy experience and with the Navy. I, I, oh, right on. Thank I, you for your service. Yeah, you can't leave. <laughs> yeah, Navy guy. No way. Not, not for Kentucky. Canadian <laughs> Army. We had two tanks. One was broken, the other one didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian <laughs> Army. I'm a, I hope you on the maintenance team, weren't you? <laughs> might have been. <laughs> might have been. Might have been. So, so you you come to Hawaii 26 plus years ago. Yes. And, and I got to point out that like you were one of the first to come into Chinatown when it was going through its renaissance. I mean, you were one of the very first to come into that area and start going through this. But why well, the restaurant business? The, well, I mean, I was as far as to clarify a little bit more was actually I started working in. Chinatown first before had any sorts of thoughts of opening up JJ Dolan. Because as a Marine, all. he really didn't know where else to yes. go. Well, well, actually, actually, here's the true story. Army leads the way. Yeah, <laughs> 26 years ago, there was a list of off-limit spots that, uh -huh. as a young Marine, you're not allowed to yeah, go yeah. to. Yeah, I was thinking on of that, that list, it said Chinatown, Honolulu. So the first thing a young Marine out of New Jersey got to go to China. I got to go down to China. Town. So we have another co-host. His name is Papi Chulo. He came here. First thing he heard was, "Don't come to China Town." He woke up the next morning with no money. <laughs> yeah, no wallet, right? No they, wallet. they robbed everything. It wasn't quite the five hundred dollars to Honolulu, Hawaii. Yeah, right. Your story, but uh, yeah, but other than that, it's uh, I've always had a love affair with it, and um, fortunate enough to uh, when I did get out of the Marine Corps to work for a uh, man uh, synonymous with uh, downtown um, and, and and giving in, in a restaurant, uh, Don Murphy at Murphy's Bar. Oh, Don, yeah. Don Murphy. Yeah. We so. haven't had him on. No. Whoa. Maybe you can convince him. Don, if you're He's out afraid there, of Gordo. Come on the show. He's afraid yeah. of Gordo, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's you're right. No, Don is <laughs> very <awesome>. frightening. <laughs> Don is awesome. He's one of the top. He is the. Yeah. He, he is. He's the he, guy. He's, yeah. He's a, he runs you're a this, great operation over 30 years. Yeah. I mean, you can learn a lot from him on how to do business yep. and how to do it well and with Aloha. Really, right on. Uh, so it's it's it was a great pleasure to work for him uh, a lot of the years, and uh, some of the years uh, not so much. But you know, <laughs> I'm only right on. joking. He knows that. <laughs> right on, right on. We're, we're, we're partners over at Ferguson's together yeah, too. Yeah, so you're so. in the restaurant. That's even yeah. awesome. So yeah, so your former mentor, now you partner. You partners and you up some with my stuff. Danny Dolan, my partner amazing. Danny Dolan. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. so you got Danny Dolan. So JJ is you. Yes. And then da Danny, Danny Dolan, Dolan is yes. the other side. So of we opened thing. Danny Niebuhr's that German joint. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been tough. Yeah, Irish bar and pizza people really like. Yeah. So even that one confused yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they know your audience. It's right? been working though. You guys have been there a while. Oh yeah. man, I tell you, I, I own a bench over there at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in 2008, we opened up. We opened up in yeah, November yeah. 2008. Um, trying to help out with the Renaissance, right? I mean, yeah, they've been, they've been that was, that was exactly it. To come back around full circle was really um, around that time frame. Uh, was the worst time for anybody to get into businesses. Obviously, there was mortgages falling out, and then businesses were failing all over the mainland. Hawaii obviously wasn't yeah. immune, um, but it just that was the time it worked out. Around 2006 and seven, I was working uh, construction. Actually, I was working for a, a local design build firm, uh, Designer Build Systems, on a government contract, and oh. uh, gave me a, a little bit of time to put together a business plan. Um, very, very raw business. I was going to say some yeah. kind of business plan but um, I mean you obviously had some ideas on on uh, what would work what made you what was the idea that we made you think that a, a an Irish pub pizza place in Chinatown <laughs> well would work? the the Irish pub was easy enough because I heard already working for Don Murphy okay uh, and Marion so uh, the other thing was to do bar pies at night which is a uh, East Coast uh, phenomena uh, of a sense for uh, for pubs and bars where they would do these mini bar pizzas that okay. were about nine to ten inches and um, started doing those out of Murphy's as well to supplement a little bit of that uh, late night just pub feel inside the right. pub because you can get a wonderful dinner all throughout Murphy's but this was just something and uh, it, it took off and so ah. that was the impetus to say hey maybe we're you know on to something here and, and, and obviously uh, it did very well. Um, and that was just sort of, you know, pizza in Chinatown. It was very rare at the time. So now, yeah. was that your first ever effort into starting your own restaurant business, uh, into entering into that space? No, I, I actually, well, actually, I made my first pizza in second grade, and so I was hooked. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah. you always wanted to... So always, yes. Yeah. So in a roundabout way, yes. And, um, that's what the love affair basically happened, was that back then set the wheels in motion to where I'm um, today. But really, in Chinatown um, was really my time at Murphy's. It was your time um, at Murphy's yeah. to do this. So, and one of the things you talked about, you know, uh, I want to ask you is like, like, how... Everybody talks about Hawaii not being very small business friendly. And uh -huh. I don't want you to get in trouble or anything no, like that. No. Kind of thing. And so, but, but you know, you got to work through all these government bureaucrats, of which I used to be one. Yeah. Um, it ain't easy. No. <laughs> it's not easy. It, no, it's not easy. But um, as far as if if you have a conviction, you have a belief. It really it started. It starts as a dream, and if you really, um, you know, look at it, in 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 that sense you yes you've got to retain this dream but there has to be a practical app side to it sure right. and that's you know sort of so there has to be the due diligence to come up with a business plan you can have a dream you can dream all you want you can we're, we're on the beach right now look at this we're <laughs> dreaming like a dream <laughs> like this, yeah. this is awesome who have dreamed um, it <laughs> but there has to be a pra practical right app side and that's doing your due diligence uh finding a market finding make sure you have a core product uh pizza and beer not bad but the quality's got to be good. Of I mean, course. And, you know, Hard to your get. pizza's consistent. It's consistent. The quality's Thank always you. there. Always Thank there. You. Thank you. And, um, yeah, so that's, you know, one of the main things is how do you do that in, yeah. in Hawaii? How do you get these California tomatoes in and keep the costs? And um, But even before all that is just securing a, a location and where your dream can then flourish from there. And then we've had a lot of help from a lot of people downtown. So it wasn't just Danny and I decided that, hey, let's open up a pizza pizza place and a bar just haphazardly. Ma imagine no, the money we did will our dues. In, we right? paid our dues in Chinatown. <laughs> still paying dues. Still yeah, paying yeah. dues. Uh, I mean, when you put yeah. up, there's a lot of money goes into putting into restaurants. And, yes. and you get hit. You, know, you get hit from all sides. You can, you've got product. You've got people. People. Right? You've people. got leakage. leakage. You've got <laughs> things get broken. Yes, I mean, it's just, it's yes. just, from every angle, you're going to get. When you yeah, have yeah. to cook, whenever you have to cook, right? That's a that's a. There's other regulations right around cooking. Yeah. Food. Oh yeah. You have to. You know. You have to. You have to pay all your taxes. Number one, which we do. Your so G pay all your right taxes. How do you get right the liquor license? You, so you got to pay for liquor, that. Liquor license is a whole. Is that a one-time thing or is it an ongoing? Uh, you renew. <laughs> you renew every year. <laughs> I just got my. Don't, I was wondering about that. Don't get anybody in trouble. So that's. But that's true. No. Look at commissions. You get the, the letter, best. the liquor yeah, yeah. commission yeah. sends you the letters to remind yeah. everybody that you guys yeah. are doing that. And, and, and they're really, they, they actually 
are, uh, are the ones that really want you to succeed the sure, most. Sure. So they'll give you all the tools. It's just how you then build after that. So um, we've had nothing but great um, uh, relationship with the Liquor Commission, with our vendors, um, our bank, Hawaii National Bank as well. Um, Which is a know, Chinatown bank. Chinatown just bank, down the believe street. in you, right yep. down the street, sure. the Luke family. So yep. they believed in us um, get, getting branding and design for this concept, Wall Wall Studios out of Pittsburgh but now Honolulu uh, a couple years back. Okay. So, um, you know, we, we were very lucky to have a, a, a lot of Akamai and, 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 and really people who believed in it help us along the way. And it was during that time, I mean, there was a lot of focus on re-energizing and revitalizing this area. So, 08? 08 is when we opened. Was it Mufi back then? Or yeah. was it the end of his... Yes, yeah. I believe so. Because yeah, I, I was there. Yeah. I think he yeah. got a lot of that started. Yeah. So Han I mean, Hanneman was... saw this vision yeah, yeah. of uh, Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there was, there was a lot of discussion about that. We were trying to bring Wi-Fi down there. I remember some of those yeah, programs, right? There that. was a lot of stuff going yeah. on. For, you know, from the city and county side, there's been a lot of help down there. I mean, early on, uh, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard as well, right. uh, right. a pioneer of downtown. Um, um, there, there's plenty of names. Um, but really, it, it, what it really is is the people of Chinatown, mm -hmm. the, the, the residents, the the entrepreneurs that come in there, um, the immigrants that do, it's always been cyclical and so it hasn't really changed uh -huh. too much. It's just where you are now and um, it's it's a great time to be in business. In this uh, part of town. Uh, yes. In this part of town, wonderful. Everywhere else I couldn't speak for it, but in Chinatown it, yeah. it's really, it's a great time. And I, uh, it's funny, I was talking to some people last night and they said we don't go to Chinatown and I said, then there are old people like myself and I said, why? <laughs> I mean, you haven't been there in, in 10, 15 years. You have no idea what it is like in Chinatown yeah. now. It is a cool spot. Sure. I mean, it's it's going through this this it, metamorphosis. It, 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 it is actually, like I said, everything being cyclical, um, eventually, you know, it, everything comes around again. So what's what's been one of the best things about Chinatown that's been a constant has been food, drink, libations, yep. as we have on the table in right. front of us here at the beautiful beach. Um, and also it switched over to art, galleries, retail. Um, so there's Clothing a new, um, new sense of entrepreneurs, uh, new people coming into the neighborhood as well, just like when it was first settled, you know, so families oh, and stuff like that too. So it's still, people are coming here. They're not setting up shop uh, in Waikiki as far as small business goes, um, but they're looking for these little spots, of Chinatown, Kaka'ako, these smaller communities. Mm. Um, and so it's, it's, we've had our trials and tribulations down in Chinatown. It's not, oh, it's yeah. not Camelot. <laughs> no, it's no. not Camelot. There's, there's, that, that's a that's, that's, that's true. That's true. Okay, we're we're gonna come up on a break, but before we go on the break, I, we do this thing. We have little segments. We have a thing called potholes in paradise, and and so one of our friends was here, and she was on our show as a traveling nurse and so on. And so since we try to be thematic and keep it around food, uh, she doctored up one of the potholes she found here in, in Hawaii, and she put some food in it, and, 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 and made, put some food in it. So the, the potholes in paradise. So, that's, a, that's a celebration of a pothole. Is that a like, like we haven't seen often. I, I, I'm not sure if there's a zucchini hat. It's got a zucchini hat. Coconut. No, I'm pretty sure that's a coconut. <laughs> anyway, that's potholes. There's always the upside in Hawaii. So anyway, we're going to take a break. Pay some bills. We got JJ. Don't. Not Dolan. Niebuhr. 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 JJ Niebuhr is here. <laughs> Just call me JJ. JJ. So got JJ is here from JJ Dolan and um, uh, Bethel Union and Ferguson. And, and we'll be back in a minute after we pay a couple of bills. Aloha, this is Kaylee Akina with the weekly Ehana Kako. Let's work together program on the Think Tech Hawaii broadcast network, Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. Movers and shakers and great ideas. Join us. We'll see you then. Aloha. Aloha, my name is Justine Spiritu. This is my co-host Matthew Johnson. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. on ThinkTech, we host the Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. We like to bring in folks from the whole realm of the local food supply and agriculture, anyone working on these issues, any organization or individual that has plans or projects. What kind of people have we had on? Uh, so we've had farmers, we've had chefs, we've had people from government, uh, larger institutions, everyone who's working to help make Hawaii's local food system that much better. 
So you can see us every Thursday and join the conversation on Twitter, and we hope to see you there. Aloha. I am Reg Baker, and I am the host of Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 in the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu. We highlight successful stories about businesses and individuals and learn their secrets to success. I hope you can join us on our next show on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Until then, aloha. Hello, I'm Marianne Sasaki. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii, where some of the most interesting conversations in Honolulu go on. I have a show on Wednesdays from 1 to 2 called Life in the Law, where we discuss legal issues, politics, governmental topics, and a whole host of issues. I hope you'll join me. Aloha and welcome back to Hibachi Talk. Uh, Andrew, the security guy here. I got a security minute for you. I want to talk about ransomware real quick. You can get your life back. There's some government organizations. There's some very high-tech organizations that have gotten together to help you deal with ransomware. Um, the good news is, you know, you can kind of prevent that if you're doing good backups. Um, the bad news is if you haven't done it and you may really have a problem. The other good news with the folks at noransomware.org um, is they're publishing the decryption keys for a lot of this malware, okay? So Crisis, uh, Wildfire, Chimera, uh, Tesla Crypt, uh, a bunch of them. NoRansomware.org. Go check these guys out if you get ransomed. Do not pay the ransom. Call the FBI. These guys may have keys to fix some of your problems, okay? Um, definitely let the FBI know. And do not pay the ransom. It just helps, all right? There's help available, and it's free. So help yourself. Um, I got Angus here. We found him, you know, on the beach like we always do. Angus, what's up, buddy? How you doing there, lad? Good to see you, Great man. Great to see you back. Yeah, right Gigi. on. Gigi! Get him hey, in! Yeah, he is the man. Hey, 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 frequent your establishment. <laughs> I've been there a few uh, times, you know. I've had well, a room of Hannah, you yeah. were down there drinking the other night. Well, yeah, I think we had a wee bit Yeah, of, I think so. A wee Guinness. We have, I always have my wee Guinness, and I'm <laughs> checking out your wee lassies over there. It's really cool. But you know, you know, I'm always looking for... I'm always okay. looking for gadgets. Oh, there I am. There's a, there's a wee picture of me. That was after I got dumped by one of the wee lassies. So I was, and you, know, so you look a little lonely. You look a little lonely. You know, just, <laughs> I was handling as he does today, right? But your staff were really helpful, and they really perked me up. Oh, good. In a lot of ways. <laughs> anyway, anyway, JJ. I, You're I, welcome. I, you know, I, I always, my job is to find really cool gadgets. So I found one you might find interested in. Okay. Okay, it's a, it's a pizza cutter. It's a pizza it's cutter. It's a pizza cutter, yeah. It's called the Pizza Boss. Oh. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a it looks like a skill saw. It looks it's like a skill, skill saw. <laughs> so just in case your wrist gets too sore, you can just turn on the motor and they'll cut the pizza can, for you. Oh, thank you. I guess I appreciate it. Buy a it. whole uh, set. <laughs> the nice. pizza box. Are you getting a percentage of the sale? I only wish. <laughs> He's a rep for everything he brings See, on. You think I'm a restaurant? He never admits it. <laughs> what is it you said? You're so you're so broke you can't pay attention. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it was great having you on the show, and I enjoy your pizza. I'll probably go up and have a wee drum later on today. Any, anytime for you. Anyways, right. always welcome. All righty. And remember, everybody, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha. So for those of you who don't have a pizza boss, you know, and do it manually like I do, you know, if you need some tips, go down and see JJ. You know, <laughs> these guys know how to cut a pizza without a pizza boss, I'm just saying. <laughs> but Angus brings in some good hey, stuff. Hey, it's a cool gadget. Very I've cool never, gadget. I, 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 gotta, I might have to try one just like as a Christmas I, gag. Just to see. Great do you think it would be spitting like the, the sauce everywhere? I, I don't uh, even know. Logo yeah. wear. You could put JJ do Dolan, Dolan logo oh, oh, things there on it, it is. and give out pizza boss. That's a million dollars. There here it is. JJ's you pizza You can pick boss. up the show right now. We got a million dollars right here. <laughs> It's done. We're, we're already going. CBS, <laughs> NBC, going national. Nice. So you, um, you talked about Don Murphy, and he does a lot in the community, and so do you. You've done a lot in the community uh, since you've been in here. You, um, you do uh, the Dan Ban. Lieutenant Dan Band. Lieutenant Dan Band. Yes. Tell, tell people who the Lieutenant Dan Band is, because oh, this is really goodness. cool. This is is probably one. I'm and you know I'm I'm a little biased on it. Is uh, Gary Sinise from um, Forrest Gump. Lieutenant Dan. Forrest Gump. Uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan, Dan. The man himself uh, was actually he actually is a musician, a yep. bassist, yep. and he travels around with the USO and and he plays for troops all over the world. And and uh, we were fortunate enough to meet him when we had the uh, Medal of Honor convention coming to town. Oh, and uh, yeah, so basically, the Medal of Honor 
uh, convention was held in Honolulu uh, a few years back. I, I'm a little cloudy on the year now. But, I wonder why. Yeah. Well, what happened was uh, we were fortunate enough to actually go to see this show from the Marine Corps base, my old stomping grounds, um, and at the same time met two Medal of Honor recipients who were uh, in town, Lieutenant Colonel Jay Vargas and Drew Dix from the United States Army. Uh, and for me, that sort of, you know, being a former Marine and, and uh, meeting these guys, these were like rock stars. So Once then, a Marine, always oh, a Marine, the, by the way. Rock, we know that. <laughs> Do or die. And so, yeah, so basically had the chance to go see this great show that he put on, and uh, he wound up coming for lunch the next morning. So, um, to JJ. Right, yeah, to JJ Dawns and came in and, and said, hey, a pint of beer. Said, we nice to see you in the show last night. And we started talking, and he, had a, and he uh, wanted to go make a pizza. And really, what happened was, uh, I got him in the back, and he started making a pizza, showing him little bits of things, what he wanted on his pizza, and we created the Lieutenant Dan Pizza in his honor, um, where when we do make it, we do a portion of proceeds go to the Gary Sinise Foundation. However, I like it. before we got all into that, um, came back later that evening for a second round of J.J. Dawn. That's when I met him. That's late, late night, <laughs> and a couple of Guinness uh, in us, uh, Guinness in us, I have to say that now. Yeah. Um, and we had this crazy idea that if he did a performance on the Marine base and he does performance for all the troops, how come the public is so unaware of all his gift giving and, mm. and, and his talents? I mean, because it's a great show. Yeah. I mean, the band is incredible. Um, so came up with a crazy idea to said, hey, if we can secure a uh, street permit, uh, to do an event, would you consider doing it in conjunction with the Medal of Honor convention? And uh, we agreed to it, shook our hands, and said, all right, let's get it together. Nobody said no, and uh, wow. we had a great concert uh, right there uh, in the parking lot uh, outside uh, Murphy's. And uh, all the uh, present uh, Medal of Honor recipients as well came out uh, on the stage, and it was uh, one of those moments where only because of the business would you be able to organize something over yeah. a couple of pints and say, hey, and give a such a wonderful show, and that's you know, and pull it off. That's yeah, and yeah, and in the works. And pull it off. It, yeah. it was it was it was one of those once in a lifetime. Yeah, well, yes. But you you're always coming up with new because I've actually seen I think I've seen him there a second time. He came on, a, on yeah another trip. on another tour. He's come through, and you know, and we we try and take care of it because I also have a motto that if you are a starving artist and you're coming to Chinatown, there are no starving artists in Chinatown. Right on. I'll make sure of that. So oh, get them um, being the arts district and and everything. It's, it's it's wonderful to have you know artists of that stature and also just young beautiful people doing some great stuff locally uh, yeah. you know starting out from early ages of you know even the grammar school kids you know when they come in and uh, go to the Hawaii theater really opens up their eyes to performing arts, um, just, you know, retail arts, culinary arts, everything that's happening down in China. It's happening down in China. Now, so, how, go ahead, you were going to no, say no, that? I was going to so, say even the technology sector, oh, too, with a lot of uh, tech Yeah, well, there's an incubator downtown in Chinatown yep. now, and there's, oh. you know, so, um, uh, Box Jelly, I think, moved over Box to there. Box Jelly, yep. And did some Playing stuff. with those guys. Yep, yeah, yeah. So, um, so, uh, how important is, you know, your the success by being involved in the community? I got to oh. believe it's, got to be key. Oh, it's 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 probably one of the it, if not the the number one the okay. number one driving force behind what we do at JJ Dolan's Bethel Union Ferguson's um, and just learning by giving back to the community that you're in you will see and reap so much more down the line. It may not be that apparent, or you may not be able to always help everybody, but as much as you can, you have to give back to that community. And that's, that's something you learn here um, in Hawaii that is more prevalent than anywhere else I've ever been, on mainland or anywhere yeah. else. And sense of community. I was going to say it's amazing to, to have the the different uh, operations going on, right? And you got the newest one, right? Yep, Bethel Bethel Union. Union. So, ha and ha and you, JD Dolan's was first for you. Then you, you and Don partnered on first. So you have Danny and they, I. They wanted opened, to sell yeah, out or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Danny and I opened up J.J. Dolan's 2008, um, and we had a dear friend of ours, John Ferguson, who used to work for Don Murphy yeah. as well, uh, um, owned Ferguson's Irish Pub over at the Dillingham mm -hmm. Transportation right. Building. Another great, beautiful great spot. Great location. Oh, it's yeah. just historic. Uh, and then, you, again, you've staffed it with excellent people. Just We've been I mean, very every, fortunate. Every one of your locations, you I don't know what you do to select who you select, but they're tremendous.
this. We're very lucky. We're very lucky to have people come in. We also, to get to the bones of it too, is also, we also do all, offer a compensation package that I think is sort of unprecedented on a number of levels. For those, um, you know, to get down to numbers, um, for those who qualify, we do offer a 401k profit sharing in a wow. restaurant in setting. In a restaurant setting. In a restaurant setting. That's, that's, from whoa, immediately that's amazing. From day one. Right on. From when, you're, when you qualify. So we've done that, uh, Danny and I, and that was one of the first things we did. We offer, obviously, the medical, but we also like to offer the best medical that everybody can get as well. Um, it just puts people at ease that they know that their families are taken care of, they're taken care of, and then they can focus on the job at hand. Yeah. And that's basically taking care of you yeah, guys. Next, you the, customer the, I know, <laughs> the customer experience yeah. is so important. Yeah. I mean, I love it when, you know, the, the, one of the sweetest sounding things you ever hear in your life is your own name. That's, that's what you hear. When you walk into a restaurant and they say, yeah. Gordo, so you think of Cheers when Norm walked into the yeah. When you hear your name, people like to hear the sound of their own name. That's the reality yeah. of the world. And so when I walk in there and they go, Gordo, I go, hey. I'm, you may have a Guinness already waiting for yeah. you. Oh, it's already yeah. started. It's already started. They yeah, do know the yeah. order. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. All, we only pour True. them to order. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. Careful. Nice dodge. All right. Um, so the new, tell us about the, what's behind. So, you, you know, we know Ferguson. No, Bethel we Union. Know Jay J. Dolan. So what's behind Bethel Union? So what's Bethel Union there? was sort of a, um, um, a look at trying to do uh, classic Italian, but not really classic Italian, but taking uh, a lot of the catering stuff I was doing at J.J. Dolan's and then transforming it into a restaurant. Because, like, hey, you made this pasta the other day. How come I can't get it at J.J. Dolan's? Ah. It's all J.J. Dolan's pizza and beer. Trying to keep it very simple. It's a very good uh, uh, business plan for those out there. Keep right. it simple. You right. can't you overstate that. You need a good that. business plan. You got to have that. Keep it very simple. Um, so it was just sort of grew out of that. Right on. Um, and then realizing I can't be in two places at once, and Danny and I are going back and forth. Um, look for a chef who believes in that, and, and we found a Chef Lucy uh, out of New York, uh, but made her way to Hawaii, and uh, she was working out at the Outrigger Club, uh, Holly Kalani, and uh, really got the idea uh, of putting together a great menu. And as soon as I saw it, I said, I can't wait to eat it. Oh, and yeah. uh, about a year and uh, three months later, we finally opened up a couple of weeks ago. And we've been, we've been, we've been cranking ever since. Yeah, so far, so good. Oh, okay, yeah. speaking so of cranking Come down to Bethel Union. Bethel Union. Check it's it on out. the same street as J.J. Dolan's. Anyway, uh, you're not going to believe this. We just burned through 30 minutes. It what? happens and fast. We wanted, you're we welcome want, back, though. We All right. Anytime. And uh, no guest goes unrewarded. You're getting number 99 in the Whoa. series of autographed solo cups. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those are. Those Thank are becoming, the, the, I think they're worth three, maybe four cents yeah, now on whatever. eBay. So, you know, yeah. I'm going to put this up behind the bar, JJ Dong. Yeah. yeah. It'll be there. Uh, perfect. At, le at least for the weekend. A, public di a publicly <laughs> displayed one might really be worth something. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, okay, really. guys, i got to get you out of here because Zuri's yelling at me and so on. So as we say at the end of every show. Oh, yeah. And thanks, Zuri and Nick and Robert and everybody. At the end of every show, one, two, three. How you, how you doing? How you doing?